Hello. Today we're going to look at changing the oil filter on a Leyland or no field tractor. Now this may seem like trying to teach your grandma to suck eggs, but we're not all farmers' sons or mechanics. There's probably some people out there who have bought a property and with the property came a, a tractor and the paper oil filter on it is the first time they've ever come across something like that on a vehicle. So this is what we're dealing with today. Uh, this is a typical oil filter for a Nuffield or Leyland. It's a Baldwin P174 or a Crossland 414. And um, you get a filter like that, you can see straight through the middle of it. Uh, it's got pleated paper in it and a steel end each end. And in the box comes with it a couple of seals. And we'll, we'll deal with them later when we get to that stage. So I'll put that to one side. Now let's have a look at the typical, typical oil filter. This is an oil filter head. This is off, uh, I took it off of Nuffield, somebody had painted it blue for some reason, but uh, this is your oil filter head. And in the head, there's a little ball bearing with a spring behind it. And uh, I'll just hold this right forward so you get a good view. There's, um, the purpose of that is when you start the engine up and the oil's really cold and it won't go through the filter, or if the filter ever gets blocked, the ball bearing lifts and lets oil go through to lubricate the engine. Alright, it's unfiltered oil, but it's better than no oil at all. So that's what that little gadget there is for. Now, interestingly, when we look at the Leyland filter head, this is the filter that uh, you're familiar sitting on the tractor at that angle. It still has a ball bearing and spring in it, it's in there, but the ball bearing and spring now is an anti drain back device because the filter's pointing uphill, and the relief is this contraption that you find inside the filter. And this has got the spring and the plate in it to let oil through if the filter come, becomes blocked. So now I'll show you where these all go. Now, this is the housing, this is for a Leyland. The bolt was in there first, then a spring. The purpose of the spring is to hold the filter up against the filter head so that it, the oil goes through the filter and not around it. Then that goes in. And then, yeah, I'll hold this forward to the camera, there's a little clip like that, if you can see that. And that clip goes on the threads of the bolt just clipped it on and then the filter goes in and the idea of the clip is when you take the filter and the housing off the tractor to change it and you sling everything in the bin that's all that goes in the bin the the washers springs and everything stay in there I've come across quite a few second-hand tractors where when you take the filter off it's sat at the bottom of the housing doing nothing because the rest of the gubbins has gone in the bin with the old filter and the people I'm doing it haven't been aware of what they've done and you've got absolutely no filtration. That's your Leyland filter. Here's one off of Nuffield. It's a little bit shorter, they're not all shorter, they come in various lengths. But once again, uh, we put the bolt in the bottom first. First goes in the spring. Then there's some little washers. There's a steel washer, a rubber washer, and then this big cupped washer. The purpose of the cup, cupped washer is it goes and locates in the bottom of the filter like that. So that then goes in there. Now there's a little replaceable seal that I mentioned earlier. There's two in the box, a thick one and a thin one. And what you have to do is get the old seal out with a screwdriver, like that. Select which one matches it, which is that one. And then it just slides into the groove like that. And that's your new seal for the filter housing. Once you put that in, I haven't got the filter to fit this short housing, but you just drop the filter in and then it's a matter of screwing that up like that. Tightening it up 
and that's it done. So uh, there's quite a few different filter housings fitted to uh, Nuffield and Leyland tractors. I'll just assemble this one so you can get a view of it. Over the years they've used Vokes filters, they've used uh, Perlade filters. Uh, I think there's three different sizes of paper element that fits them. But that's a topic for another video or something. But yes, that's, that's the filter housing off a of Leyland. You'll be familiar with seeing that fitted to a Leyland like that. And that one fits on a Nuffield like that. So I think I've covered everything. So uh, that's basically how you change the oil filter on a Nuffield and Leyland tractor. And now I've covered all the theory. Uh, Mary's going to demonstrate on a 1060 how you actually change the oil filter on a tractor that's uh, not in your hand on the bench doing it uh, the easy way. If you have really nice paintwork on your tractor you might want to put a bit of cardboard on the chassis so that it doesn't get oil all over your tractor. So you're just going to screw the oil filter off And there might be a bit of oil that comes out, but that's fine. And then just put the new one on. Happy tractoring, everybody.